Lava is a large multimodal model that we've covered a couple of times on the channel. Let's quickly go to the paper and remind ourselves about the architecture. So at the top, we have an underlying text-based language model, and then beneath, there's then a vision encoder. And on the initial Lava, it was using Vicuna as the LLM and then Clip as the visual encoder. Now, an organization called Xtune have fine-tuned a couple of versions of Lava based on different underlying LLMs. We're going to explore these models using a Llama. So let's search for Lava in the search box. And if we come down a little bit, you can see we've got Lava hyphen Llama 3 and Lava hyphen Phi 3. So let's open those up in another tab. And we'll start with the Llama 3 one. So this is using the Llama 3 underlying large language model. And you can see various multimodal benchmarks that it does better on. Although it looks to me like it's comparing with Lava 1.5 rather than 1.6, so perhaps not the most up-to-date comparison. Let's have a look at Phi 3, so you can see that one is here as well, and you can see the various benchmarks, and then we can click through to Hugging Face, and you can see that if we look down a little bit, you can see they're actually using different pre-training and fine-tuning data sets compared to the initial one. So let's try these models out. So first of all, we need to make sure that we pull them down to our machines. We do a Llama pull Lava hyphen Llama 3, and a Llama pull Lava hyphen Phi 3. And then we need to make sure that when we're running it, if we want to run them in parallel, we need to make sure that Alama max loaded models is set to three or more. Now, if you're running it like me manually, you can pass that environment variable in before you do Alama serve. If it's running in the background, you need to make sure that environment variable is set somewhere that the whole system can see. We're going to have a look at these models using this Streamlit app that I've created. If you're interested in how I built this, please let me know in the comments and I can do a video on that. Now let's start with our first image. This is a Microsoft AI image. We're going to say, can you write a poem about the company in this image? I'd say they all do a reasonably good job. They identify what the company is and the, the poems look all right to me, although I'm not, not a poet. Let's ask it another question. So what is this company most famous for? So the initial model sort of goes off and sort of describing different uh, Microsoft AI products. I'm not sure that's completely where I wanted it to go. The other two, I think, do a better job, though. They say Microsoft is most famous for Windows. I say that is probably uh, correct. But you, I suppose you could make an argument that the initial Lava is, is correct because it was Microsoft AI rather than just Microsoft. Let's try another one. So I often use the ChatGPT to critique YouTube thumbnail images. So let's see how well Lava does here. So the Llama 3 and Phi 3 ones are not really critiquing it, right? They're just describing to me what it is. But the initial Lava is doing a reasonably good job and sort of giving me some ideas saying, hey, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's got a bit too much blue, maybe it doesn't really stand out, maybe, it's, maybe there's some ways that you can make this better. So that's, I think, initial lava wins on this one. Next, which footballer is in this image? So this is Cristiano Ronaldo. So you think, like, there's going to be low. They should have seen some pictures of Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a pretty, pretty famous person. Uh, initial lava doesn't work. Lava 3 also, and Phi 3, they all, all failed here. Although when I did the initial lava last time, it did actually work. So this time, it, this time it didn't. Let's try another one. So code, I always take code from, from YouTube videos or I see code that people post on social media. I'm like, I just want to get the code. I don't want to type it out. So let's see whether Lava can extract the code. So initial Lava is sort of just making up some, some sort of random code. Lava 3 looks like it's got it pretty much perfectly. Phi 3, I can't tell. Let's, uh, let's scroll across a little bit and have a look there. And you can see that apart from the pivot, it's got everything else spot on. And let's do one more. So can you explain this diagram to me? So this is a diagram from about a Neo4j graph, and it's sort of explaining, well, how does the graph model work? And you can see that none of them really know, have run, none of them are able to understand this. I guess they haven't really seen that type of uh, image in their training data, so they sort of go off on a tangent or what, or, or what of some sort, uh, completely missing the point. So in summary, it looks like they're kind of quite similar to each other, but for code reading, it does look like Llama 3 and Phi 3 are doing better than the initial Lava. If you want to learn more about the Lava model itself, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.